Let's talk about the first type of addition reaction, that's hydrohalogenation. In a hydrohalogenation, what we will do is we'll start with a double bond and that pi bond will be broken and we will end up with an addition of this molecule across the double bond. So we will add a, a H and an X in this, in this case. So one pi bond is formed, one sigma, sorry, one pi bond is broken, one sigma bond is broken, this one right here, and two sigma bonds will form right there. So how are we going to draw the products of an addition reaction? Here we have the double bond, and we're going to add these two across the double bond, so one here and one here, and then the same happens here. We're going to add the H there and the Cl there. Right? We're going to talk about stereochemistry just later, but for now, this is the overall transformation that we will see in an addition reaction. As you can see here, um, addition reactions will be exothermic because the two sigma bonds that are formed in the project product right here, so this is one and this will be another one, those are stronger than breaking the this sigma right here and this pi right here. And that's how this reaction is exothermic. So think about it. Remember that forming a double bond in an elimination reaction was endothermic and that we needed to put energy. That's why we often see heat in an elimination reaction. For an addition reaction is actually the opposite and energy is released when an addition reaction happens. The mechanism for an electrophilic addition is this one. So first, my nucleophile, that is the double bond, will go and attack the H. And at that point, the Br, that is a good living group, and you know that by you know that by now, will leave. This step is the slowest one, and then we form the carbocation. Remember that the formation of the carbocation is always a, a slow step. At that point, we will form a carbocation there, and the Br that has a negative charge, nucleophile, will attack the electrophile, the carbocation. And that's how we get that product of the addition. Remember, we have an H there, right? That's the first uh, H that added. It's just that we weren't showing it explicitly. And this is the energy diagram for an electrophilic addition. The first step, right, the um, activation energy for the first step that is the formation of that carbocation is going to be the highest one. Then we have an intermediate that is the carbocation. And then we have another transition state because we have that second step in which the nucleophile attacks the electrophile. And then finally we get the product. Remember that the starting material is higher in energy because it has that alkene and the products will have lower in energy. If you go back to a rec the recitation that we did on um, energy diagrams, that was an addition reaction. So that, that may help you review the energy diagrams for um, addition reactions.